Mia, if you're reading this letter, I just want to say first and foremost that I'm sorry that I had to come to you in the form of a letter, but I left and went back to Chicago. I got a lot on my mind and I need some time to myself. I mean, I guess what I'm really trying to say is that I can't do this relationship thing anymore. I feel like these are my bachelor years and I'm too young to be in a relationship. I know you'll understand. You're a strong woman and you'll get through this. But unfortunately, it ain't gonna be with me. So I wish you much success with your career. Stay true, Mike. Damn, Peaches. You been on my mind lately. Even though I kicked you out that night, I must admit, I enjoyed the ride. So shit, slide back on me when you get a chance. I'm ready for a round two. Mm, see, I knew he was gonna want another bite out this peach sooner than later. What's good, SIU? You are now tuned in to Escape Radio, only on WIDB, Donette the Remedy. You have your host, Macy, and today I have a new guest, my good friend, Nia. Say what's up, Nia. What's up, guys? All right. Nia, she's um, a star from The Real Couples of SIU, and she's going to be talking to you guys about relationships. Um, she's been in a relationship for two years, so, you know, she has experience with it, and I want you guys to call in and ask for any advice. So, let's go ahead and do that. You ready? Let's do this. Caller number one, who am I speaking with? This is Tasha. Oh my God. Hey, girl. First off, I would like to say that I am one of your biggest fans. Hey, Tasha. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. And the question I wanted to ask is, when is the right time to take your relationship to the next level? Okay, Tasha, that's a, uh, that's a really broad statement. Do you mean sexually, moving in together, or marriage? Sexually, I guess. He said he feel like it's time. But me personally, I don't think I'm ready. If you're not ready to be sexually intimate, then don't force it. Do not let anyone make you do something against your will, because I promise you, you will hate yourself for the rest of your life. If he says he loves you as much as he says he does, then he will honor your wishes and wait on you. Okay, okay, thank you, girl. All right, that was good. Let's go. Caller number two, who am I speaking with? Yo, Nia, it's Jamie. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. I'm sorry. Right. All right, let's do. Caller number three, who am I speaking with? Hey, y'all. It's Erica. Hey, What's up, girl. Erica? I've been in a relationship for about two years. Well, was in a relationship. We lived together, and recently I came home, and his stuff was no longer there. So I called his phone over and over again, but there was no answer. So, like, last week, I was on Facebook checking his page, and I scrolled down to see a pic of him with a girl and a baby. It almost seemed as if they were a family. What would you think? What would you do? Nia? Nia, you gonna answer the question? Um, I, uh... You okay? I can't... You okay? I can't do this. I'm so sorry. I can't do this. Okay. All right. Um, let's get into the top ten. 
on Escape Radio. All yeah. right, let's go here. Mia. Mia. tell you this but but what Brandon every ever since that date that we had all I could do is think about you it's like I, I feel like we connected again and I, I, don't, I don't know maybe, maybe it's the way you, you, you looked at me like now maybe it's the way you smell or the way you Skin just, just so, it's just so overwhelming. Over, overwhelming. No, no, not, not like that. Like, over, overwhelming in a good way. And I haven't felt that way in so long. Like, and I think I'm, I think I'm falling in love with you again. Love, Brandon. Wait. No, you wait. When, when I'm with you, I. I'm the, the happiest man in the world. But when I'm without you, I I feel like, I feel like my, my my life is not worth living. Brandon. Look, I was made to love you. And I'm ready to give you the world. Oh my god, Brandon. Brandon, what are you doing? What are you doing? Brianna, Ariel Johnson, will you marry me? Sorry, I can't. <sighs> really? Why? Why? I just—it's just that I don't feel the same way as you. <sighs> but, but I, I thought that. <sighs> Brandon, listen. You are an amazing guy. You're a sweetheart. It's just. If I wasn't going through what I'm going through right now, I would be with you. But my heart, my heart is, is still with Jordan. And we just decided to take our relationship to another level. Another level? What, what do you mean? It's, it's just really complicated right now. I, I really just hope you understand. Great. I really thought that you and Jordan, I thought y'all was an a old chapter, but <laughs> I guess, I, I guess, I guess I was wrong. You know what, Bree, he's going to continue to hurt you, but I keep, I keep him on friends. Brandon, 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 please, 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 can we still be friends? Bree. I love you way too much for us to be friends. And, and you know, this is the second time that you denied me for this guy. It won't be a third. Let this be goodbye. Brandon, Brandon. Man, I ain't got shit to say here. We ain't got shit to talk about. I don't even know why you waste your time coming over here. Jordan, you just need to listen. I don't need to do shit. Get it through your head that I don't want you no more. It ain't even like that. I just gotta tell you something. What is it, Kim? Damn. I I'm pregnant. 
So what the fuck that got to do with me? What do you mean that has everything to do with you, Jordan? Come on now, Kim, I ain't with the bullshit. You and I both know that ain't my baby. Jordan, you're the only one I've been sleeping with. Besides who? Come on now, Kim, stop it. You been sleeping with your best friend, boyfriend. You trying to convince me that I'm the only one you been sleeping with? You think it's a type of hoe or something, Jordan? Think? I'm gone, Kim. Get a little fat your baby did. Jordan, do not do this to me. Wait, Jordan! Let me the fuck go, Bree. Bree. So my little sister trying to come to SIU to turn up one time. But unfortunately, I got work all weekend, so she gonna have to stay at the crib. Shit, maybe we can go bowling or something. <laughs> turn up, turn up, turn up. SIU, what it do? About to touch down in the deal, about to see how this college life is. Hope my brother actually allowed me to have some fun. He could be real defensive sometimes. But hey, we'll see. Yo, yo, Kima! Long time no see, what's good? Hi, Ryan, I know, right? But well, it's been like two years. Just about? How old are you now? 20. 19. But she'll be 20 in a couple months. Same difference. So, Kima, you turning up tonight? No. I believe he was talking to me, Cam Cam. I already told you, you ain't going nowhere unless I'm with you. But in that case, I got work all weekend, so you SOL. I'm not a child anymore, Cameron. I can make my own decisions. Not when you're here with me, you know. I'm not about to have my baby sister run around the deal alone, especially under my supervision. Oh, you get on my nerves. What did I even come down here for? What am I supposed to do? Just stay in the house and wait on you? You damn right. Oh, my. Wait, bro. Calm down. What if I accompany her tonight? I'll make sure she gets in no trouble, and I'll make sure she make it in safe. She's like a little sister to me too, bro. You ain't got nothing to worry about. I don't know about all that. Come on, Cam. I just want to have fun, please. Damn, man. All right. Yes, thank you. But, bro, I shouldn't have to tell you this, but you know I don't play when it comes to my little sister. Come on, bro. This is me you're talking to. Don't play me like that. I'm just saying, niggas tend to forget when it's alcohol involved. Speaking of liquor, Kima, don't get too drunk tonight. I'm not. I'm serious, Kima. Okay, dang. Hey, Ryan, good looking, bro. I'm trusting you. You already know. Yes! Turn up! Kim is overdoing it. Like, seriously, he got me messed up. I'm getting fucked up tonight. Just in the neighborhood, thought I'd stop through. Mind if I come in? Sure. Nice studio you got here. Oh, thanks. Can I get you something to drink? Yeah, that'd be good. All right. Just a minute. Well, damn. So, did you get my text? Um, no. What text? Come here. Let me tell you your F. Round two? Mm -hmm. Well, let's get ready to run. You don't want them to hear us outside. Let me get on bottom while you ride. Bad boom, boom. That's what's going Bad down boom. tonight. It's just that I don't want everybody in my business, that's all. Fair enough. 
So, what kind of women do you like? I mean, what kind of characteristics do you like in a woman? Um, good question. First and foremost, her intellect. I want a girl that is smart. Okay, okay. Second, it's an attitude. I want a girl that is humble. Of course. Third, it's her appearance. Cute face, smooth skin, thin. Her hair needs to be real. Somebody who can carry themselves as a lady in the streets, but when we at the crib, be the biggest freak. Ryan. What's up, King? Kiss me. Oh, King. I can't do this. You drunk. I'm very aware of what I'm doing. King, we can't. If Cam finds out, he'll kill us. He doesn't have to find out. This can just be between me and you. Kim, I, I, I can't. Stop fighting it. Just trust me. If he ever finds out, I'll just tell him that we were drunk, that I insisted and you resisted. Now you know we all know you ain't had nothing to do, so you didn't even need to say all that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but I have some great news to tell you all. Wait, before you get started, Bri, I just got one question. Where is the strippers at, honey? Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Yeah. What is yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, ladies, this is a ladies' night. We don't need men to have a good time. I understand and everything, but. It just feel like a vagina fest up in here. Okay. Okay. Girl, you got some wine. Wine. Just to calm your hormones down. Wine. What does shot say? Wine is for book club meetings. I mean. And that's exactly what it's starting to look like. Bree, what's on your mind? Because we sitting up here like nuns advocating against penis. <laughs> So, can I talk now? Girl, say what you gotta say. Hold on, Brie, wait. I don't mean to cut you off again. But, Kim, what's wrong? Why are you so quiet? I'm not ready. Just, I got a lot on my mind. I mean, are you sure? You need to talk. That's what we're here for. Yeah, I'm all right. I, I'd, I'd rather not say. Kim, are you sure? Yeah, positive. Get you some of this wet. It, it, it'll make you feel better. Even though I prefer tequila. Ladies, we don't need tequila to have a good time. I object the fuckery. I need my tequila. Back to what I was saying. <laughs> Me and Jordan. Actually, Bree, there is something we need to talk about. Um, It's kind of personal. Can we go back there and talk? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. But please just let me say what I have to say. So, me and Jordan have decided to take our relationship to another level. <laughs> Y'all moving back in together? No. Girl, what? Imagine tattoos? Ebony. <laughs> what? Mine really? Is no, no it's girl. What? Y'all getting married? No, even better. What? what? Girl? what Me and Jordan are having a baby. <laughs> what? Oh. Okay. So what color you have for baby? Kim, so what did you have to say? 